Hey guys, it's the OC with Boss Cowboy Sports, where your voice matters. In today's video, I want to break down how much should the Cowboys pay Michael Gallup. Let's go. All right, guys, so listen. There has been a report put out yesterday by ESPN's Adam Schefter that the Cowboys are looking to aggressively re-sign Michael Gallup and give him a new contract while cutting Amari Cooper. Rest in peace, Amari Cooper. I hope this does not happen. I'll say it again. I'll say it as many times as I can. I do not agree with this. I don't think this is the best move for the Cowboys. I do not think that um, we have what we need in terms of depth to replace a receiver of the caliber of Amari Cooper, but I digress. So with a pending contract negotiation for Michael Gallup and him tearing his ACL, what do you guys think should happen in terms of his pay? I'd like you to drop some comments in the chat. Let me know how much you think the Cowboys should pay for Michael Gallup's new contract. So with the preeminent cutting of Amari Cooper seems to be on the horizon, the Cowboys will save $16 million against the salary cap. So with that $16 million, they got a little bit of wiggle room in terms of what they're gonna do. My contention is this, they're gonna try to negotiate with Michael Gallup for probably around the neighborhood of around $10 million. They're trying to get a nice discount because of the fact that he, he did tear his ACL. And unfortunately, we don't know how people are gonna respond from a torn ACL, nor does Michael Gallup. I'm sure he's gonna work hard, put in all the rehab, but it's a question mark about how well he will recover in terms of his speed his ability to cut and overall athleticism with the torn ACL. So because of that, it gives the Cowboys a lot of leverage because he's injured, all right? He's had a major injury. It gives them tons of leverage to negotiate and to probably try to get a good discount from him. Now, I will say this, if you compare him and the contracts of several current um, NFL wide receivers that may be comparable to him, I'll give you a couple of them. And I wanna know you guys' thoughts about this as well. If you take a look at Tyler Boyd, he plays for Cincinnati. He has a four-year, $43 million deal. He averages about 10, 750 per year. I think that they will be in that same threshold with Michael Gallup. If his negotiation is strong, in my opinion, he could push up to around $12 million a year. But if you look at this thing, you see Corey Davis, um, he had a three-year deal. He's a Seattle Seahawks wide receiver. Excuse me, not a Seattle Seahawks wide receiver. Um, he is um, a, a Jets receiver with three years, $37 million contract. He averages about 12 and a half per year. So I think that you're going to have Amari Cooper fall somewhere in the neighborhood between 10 and $12 million a year. I think that that's his number. Okay, and I think with the rest of that money, wherever they can negotiate the contract with, with, with uh, not Amari Cooper, but with Gallup, excuse me, that they're going to use the remainder of that money to try to re-sign Cedric Wilson, all right, and possibly, and or possibly re-sign Schultz. I don't believe it's a wise decision to re-sign Schultz because I believe his cap number is going to be too high when he hits the open market. Uh, I believe that unless they get some type of hometown discount, that his number is going to be a little bit too high. I, I'm not in favor of giving him a $40 million contract. No offense to him. I hope he does well. I just think you have better options in free agency and you have a very, very deep NFL draft class of good tight ends guys that can run, that can block, and that can catch. And so going with the model that the Cowboys have displayed um, in the last several years, it's to save and to budget and to negotiate. It's going to be no cheaper alternatives or more cost-effective alternatives than to draft a rookie and have him come in with a rookie contract, which will not be that expensive. It also is going to be very affordable to get some of these veteran free agent tight ends that are out on the marketplace 
for anywhere between two and four million dollars a year versus paying Schultz anywhere between five to six million dollars a year, which is what I think his contract will ultimately and end up demanding based upon his productivity and the amount of receptions he had this past year being the check down underneath receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. No offense to Schultz at all. I just believe that, hey, you have more viable athletic options that can do more offensively and you have cheaper options. So with that being said, that's what I think about the Gallup contract and what they're going to do with him in terms of negotiating down, get him on a three to five year deal, average around $10 million a year. Maybe it flexes up to $12 million a year based upon some of the other wide receivers that I named. And there's several other guys I can name that is that are in that range that will be comparables to Michael Gallup for 10 to $12 million a year. I would like to know you guys' thoughts uh, in the comments below. So sad to see Amari Cooper in this situation. I don't agree with the wide receiver by committee. I believe that the number one receivers in the NFL win. You can look at several teams that didn't even make the Super Bowl. You can look at a Curtis Samuels, uh, how well he played. You can look at um, also a DeAndre Hopkins, how well he played when he was healthy for the 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 Cardinals, okay? You can look at, obviously, Devontae Adams, uh, wide receiver for um, the Green Bay Packers, okay? You can look, obviously, at Cooper Cup, Super Bowl winner. You can look at him as well. You can look at Cortland Sutton, right? You can look at guys like that, Tyreek Hill. I mean, you can look at all across the league, and you see most teams do have a number one. So, the wide receiver by committee, um, it wasn't productive before Amari Cooper got here. I don't think it's going to be productive uh, after if they go away from Amari Cooper. I hope he stays. But right now, based upon reports, guys, it is not looking good at all. So drop your comments um, in uh, the chats uh, and uh, also uh, below this video. Let me know your thoughts and your feedback about it. I want to hear from you about this one. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to content. Follow Boss Cowboy Sports. Turn on your bell notifications for all notifications, right? That way you get all of our notifications for the latest and greatest in Cowboy Sports news. Also, follow Boss Cowboy Sports on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can follow me, the OC100, on Twitter. Until next time, see you.